hi everybody welcome to my channel um if you did not subscribe yet please do so that will help the channel the channel tremendously let me repeat that again if you did not subscribe to my channel please do so that will help me it helped the channel so i can keep posting videos i keep looking for stuff and the best way you guys can benefit of it that's so what i do is create something that it can benefit anybody who watch it hopefully you benefits of it or share whatever i know to you guys now this is the type of body that i have there it's a life of four batteries i have this pack this is about 48 volt 48 48 i put them in parallel but i found a connection between each cell it's in each cell all the way to the top to the bottom where they're all connected to into one bms because it will take me longer to when they put a bms there a bms there a bms there a bms there so i found the connection to do it basically you put a wire connected you put a wire here connected this cell to this cell to this cell to this cell they, they all become parallel you do the same thing all the way until you reach the 16th cell and this is what you're looking at here right there the other day i came here i noticed my batteries are 55 it doesn't take charges if i do this you will not take any charges because one of the cells is already fully charged if one cell is full charge it's going to come and stop the battery this is why i have cell differences 0.2 right there 0.1 0.2 but one of them is already pressing almost at 6 3.6 it's going to stop it so that saves the battery the top i don't have a bms i used to have a bms this is it for some strange reason it doesn't work do not know why because when you know when you put the bms together and i'm going to show you how i did this okay i have 48 volt battery this pack is 48 this pack is 48 i have all of them they are 48 this is the negative and this is the positive wire they're all connected to one main wire to main wing bus bar let's put it thick i'm going to show you the bus bar guy guys this is the bus bar it comes with the battery this bulb this bus bar can produce hundred, more than 100 amp it says it on the battery it came with those batteries when i disassembled it i got a bunch of them like this here every one of them has one pack so if this thing can pass 100 amp i'm good so on the middle of this wire, this wire going in, I doubled it. If this thing can produce 100 amp, I believe the other one can produce at least 200 amp. There is no way in the house, whatever I'm doing here, I would take 100 amp from one from each from one side of the pack. Okay, that's why I have I have a a breaker 100 amp, one down there 100 amp. This one may be 200 because it doesn't belong to here. It belongs to the regular to the inverter okay so there's no way i can go to can can pass 200 amp now this is what i have this is 10 gauge wire this is 22 gauge wire i have tested before if any bad connection the wire will will cut it will cut itself off it will just burn cut itself off i have seen this thing somewhere in here i was doing something i did a mistake the thing pop i didn't have it on camera so I have this cell, this cell, this cell, and all the way to the end, connected. I have the next wire. The reason I change the wire's color, I don't want to make a mistake. If you if you touch this one to this one, oh yeah, the wire the, the wire will blow. Okay, there's a little thing there. If you see that little thing, this thing will pop too. Where I connected it, it will pop. Then you're gonna have a problem with the pack. I have seen it before, it done it before because I have a lot of batteries and mistake happened. Okay, folks. Now I did the same thing for every one of them. I differentiate the wires to make sure there's no mishap. Now I plug the BMS wire in there. Okay, this thing used to work. Before you plug it in, there is a way you can check to see if this connection is well done. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to do that guys guys i have this pack this is why i have this is not connected because this thing's not connected okay first of all let me disconnect the battery this pack because i have lights coming out of it i have inverters working i can disable it by pressing the button now this pack is not being touched it's not in the system only the bottom part is in the system guys 
We need this pack is on the system. Now, what am I gonna do? Testing all the wires in here. The way you do that, guys, only me here. So if I had a, my neighbor was able to help me. Okay, you won't be able to see this thing because I need both hands to do that. I don't have, let me try something guys. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to connect those. I don't know if, okay guys, those, within this thing here, I'm gonna try to connect with my two hands. You guys won't be able to see that, but you'll be reading, you'll be reading this guys. You'll be reading this. So, if, it, if my neighbor was here, this thing would have been done properly. Okay, now I'm testing, oh boy. Let me turn the camera, guys. How you do this, Paul? Okay, folks. Now let's test. Let's check all the wires. The way I show you, I'm gonna check it. This is the first wire. The first positive. 3.8. Two way is no good. This thing should not be passing 2.625. I'm at 2.8. This is why I need. You see the? I put the brand new BMS. Check the BMS. Okay, this is the next wire. 3.8 plus 3. Point something, it goes higher. So in other words, my connection looks good. Okay, guys, let's let's go check all of them. Okay. I'm checking every single one of them, guys. You can tell this is increasing. Now I'm gonna go to the next pack. Where are you, buddy? Okay, reach. Let's open this thing, come. Oh boy. It's gonna be tough for me to continue to, to show you the rest of it because it's, because they fall apart each other and the camera, I can't see the camera. Hold on, guys. Okay, folks, I'm trying to do this. It's taking longer. I think you should, I won't be able to see it, but you, you will be able to see it. Okay, this is one, this is another one, and this is another one, this is another one, this is another one. Oh boy, this one is connected. Now, this is the last, the last one. I don't know if you can see anything. Let me see if I can see it. Yep, 57.9 guys. You see, 57.9, I got 58. Okay. So the connection is right. There's nothing wrong with the connection. Let me bring this thing down. Let me see if I can see it myself. There we go. I'm bringing it down to the next one. Okay. I was able to see it, guys. This one, 47. This one, 43. This one, 39. So the, the wire is good. It must be the unit is not good. So let me change the unit. So the connection is good. So usually you, you check, you put this one, you put, you plug this one guys, which I did is plug in automatically. There's supposed to be a light coming right there. There's no light. Okay. The same thing. There was a light there. See the light on the second one. So when you plug the other one, Because the wires is fine. There's only one way to plug this. Okay, guys, one way to plug this. Okay, it is plugged. Nothing's happening. I don't think this connection make a difference, but all you need is one connection. Okay, let me plug this thing. It doesn't do anything. There's no light, nothing. So, the only way I can come up with the, the device is it's not good. It was working before. The wires is fine. So let me put another one. I got a brand new one, guys. Let me put another one there. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with it. Guys, I just unboxed this thing. This is the rest of it, the wires. I don't need the wires, the wires are already connected. Okay, this is the other one, guys. I see the new one. So let me plug it in to see if I got the same issue, guys. Okay, folks, I have the new one in. I plug it in now. Let me plug the wires and see what I got here. 
So I don't think the way you plug it make a difference. So let's go plug this things live to see something happen. You see, it'll give you light. You see the light guys? It give you light. So all this time I couldn't have this thing. I didn't know what's wrong, I was afraid. You see light guys. So first you gotta check the wire to make sure you get everything's okay. Let me plug the other one. Okay. You see, it doesn't matter if you plug the negative because it don't matter. I got light. I got light. Okay, guys, the wire is plugged in because what, it, what this wire does for you, you just it just take the current and give it back to you. You take it there and pass it through. You give it, the, you take the negative and pass it to the next to the to the power. But you don't need to do that yet because you don't want to put it in the service. Right now, we're gonna check if this thing's working, guys. Now let me take out this BMS here. I'm gonna take this one out, guys. Take that one out. Now recently reload the so the software. Two of them should pop up there. Okay, the second one. This is the second one. Pick it up. I'm picking up the second one, guys. Now you're gonna see how much this thing's out of whack. You ask the password. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five for the brand new one. Then you can change the password later. Is it working? So the device that I have there has messed up. Okay, let's try to connect. It's connecting. Come on, connecting. The wire is in. Oh yeah, light is on. It is connecting. So it says it's failed. Let's refresh it. Is attempted to connect. Ask me for password again. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a defaulted password. Confirm. It asked me the amp. And I just confirm it. it doesn't matter. So you see this thing? Yeah, I don't work. Oh, the reason I don't work is the negative is not plugged. You can tell the body is out of work. So let me put this thing, guys, to explain something to you. Now I'm gonna the reason you don't see you don't see four, five, six because the negative of the wire, this negative is not plugged in. If it's plugged in, you won't have no problem. Okay. The negative is not plugged in. That's why it's out of work. But you can tell some of the cell is out of work. This cell is 7.5, which is not supposed to be happening. So guys, what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna do the bone of the body. I'm gonna do the bone and plus it the right way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this video. I don't know how long this thing gonna take me, guys. Okay, folks, you see what I did? I make them the negative touch the main negative. Okay, there's a wire for the main negative, but that wire has a touch the main gang negative. Now this is what you have there. You see the battery is out of the work. Those are wrong. You see that? They wrong. So I gotta discharge it. I gotta discharge this battery. I got three batteries at 3.8. It's not good for the battery. This is always good to have a BMS, guys. Okay. This is the main purpose of having a BMS. With that, with knowing this, some of the cells are the rock. So this is why I disabled this earlier. Because when I was checking the wires, when I was checking the wires, I saw one of them 3.8. You can't have that. So now I'm going to do the bone of the body and place it well and remove all those nonsense in here. We should be good to go. Okay, guys, we should be good to go. So I got to find a different way to plug this wire now. Okay, so, um, well, now you see the BMS is working. The other one's dead, so I probably don't know what it is. So I'll take a look at it. I did, nothing went wrong. It just happened to stop working. Now I have a brand new BMS. You do not know what you call this video, so he said adding a new BMS. So basically, the way you do it, you put you put one wire from this pack to this pack. You gotta go to the positive, only the positive you plug like this, guys. First positive all the way to the first positive. The second positive is on the back there. You gotta plug all the second positive together and go on over there, and you do, you take the third positive. You plug on in each pack because the pack is in parallel already. 
by putting it by touching the first one it won't be spot he won't really work you see it working okay let me try to uh, to summarize this to put this in, uh, in uh, on one bms you, you have your 48 pack you got your 48 pack okay you have another 48 because they're on parallel we put all the negative together all the positive together if you got three packs like this you want to put use one bms you use the first positive Okay, you go, you merge them together. The second positive, you put the next wire. You can't cross the wires. You will see spark. I suggest to use 2.2, 22 gauge. Because if something wrong, it will blow. It will cut itself off. It will, because it does happen. And I believe in Haiti, when I do have those wires, those batteries come back, I will show you how it pop. I will show it to you. So you put the third positive, the fourth positive, until you reach the sixteenth positive. Now, when you're done the sixteenth positive, you go check the wires. Okay, you take the positive wire, this positive wire, this negative wire, the black one. You take the black one. There's a holes next to it, on the back. You check it. Sorry, guys. I don't like mosquitoes. So this is what we have here. Sorry, guys. Let's let's end this this video. I put it down. That my BMS is working. My Bluetooth is working. I can see what it is right now. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna discharge it. I'm gonna disconnect the bottom of the battery. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna do the bottom of the battery. And on my next video, we'll see. You get to see it. I'm gonna change the setting here. Put the B right BMS in there. So the battery should be out of work. Should not be out of work. Okay. So I didn't have the BMS here before. I'm gonna remove this, go inside, do the do the bone of the battery. After I'm done that, I come here and plug it in. Or oh, my, my next video, I can give you a brief abbreviation of what, what I did. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Now the reason, the main reason, I'm gonna check the pack this morning. It has the battery was out of whack. You can tell. 3.8, 3.8, that's not good for the battery. That's gonna damage the battery in the long term. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to discharge it. So first and foremost, I'm going to cut this battery off. Let me turn this one on. Okay. It's still it's going to discharge. Now I'm going to shut this one off. Then now this set of batteries got out. You see how simple it is, guys, when you have those, those, those guys. Now this pack is not, is not running. Now this thing's being run. Okay, so I have the BMS now. I can shut this BMF off and then unplug everything. Basically, now there's no wires there. It's only these things touch this. You can, you can read this. Then I can unplug those guys. So, this is, the end of the, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy what you see there. If you don't, make it, put a comment. I try my best, guys. I'll get better. Okay, see you then.